Okay. <laughs> Hi, it's Leslie Hassler with your Biz Rules Business Coaching, coaching from the carpool. Not in the carpool, as you can tell. Um, exciting day. Very, very, very exciting day. Also a little chilly in my office. Exciting day because I feel like I need to go more. I went on the press check for my book today. And I have a copy in my hands. And um Goodness gracious. Uh, I I definitely, when I picked this up, didn't expect to be as, mo as emotional about it as I wound up being about it. <laughs> um, just about brought me to tears, uh, tears of joy. My husband was like, why were you crying? I was like, tears of joy, honey, tears of joy. Um, because it's a, it's a long time process to put into this. And it's so funny because um, I'm looking at the book. So you know, I'll put it over here so I can look at it up here and, and talk to you. Uh, it's interesting because, you know, the, the process of writing this book and publishing and, and doing the designing and, and layout and images and all of that nice fun stuff. You know, technically, some of that came naturally. I have a, I have a degree in journalism. I, you know, um, writing was probably the easiest part of the entire process. Um, you know, I there were points in time where people would be challenging me about it being perfect and trying to make it perfect. And um, it's not perfect. In fact, you know, it's it's really is it's at 80 percent. But I, I kind of want to go to like I, I already know where it's not perfect because um, I can see imperfection. But like this page right here, not a perfect page because it's a screenshot. It's an image of, oh, look, it's doing pretty good on, on doing it, of an Excel spreadsheet that's really big. Um, and so it's just a little fuzzy because it's a little small. And, you know, that's okay. Yeah, I can improve upon that. In fact, I think I put in the book how you can email me and I will send it to you. So if it's a little fuzzy and that makes people need to email me, so be it. I'm okay with that. Um, and I think that's kind of brings in this kind of, uh, topic for today about perfection and I know we always talk about it in deference to work and getting something done but I was talking to my friend Michelle Baker of the big dream bumps if you haven't checked, seen it check it out and we were talking about perfect decisions and how so many people when they're deciding to work with us are looking to make a perfect decision and I laughed at her I was like I don't I mean, does that exist? If you thought about it, does a perfect decision exist? Like you perfectly well can know that you're making absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt, crystal ball, the right decision. You know, and I think about, if you think about really big decisions in your life, you know, you know, and I guess it just depends on what you think is really big. But if you think about um, marriage, buying a house, and that's kind of a big decision. Um, jobs, where you're going to live. I and mean, so much of that, you can definitely in your gut feel that it's right. But it's not a perfect decision. There's so much that you don't know. And yet you make those decisions. And so we, you know, when we were chatting yesterday, we were talking about how in business, and how, um, you know, if maybe you're deciding to partner with somebody, maybe you're deciding to um, take on a client, hire an employee, hire a business coach, <laughs> whatever that decision is, I think people look for a perfect decision. It doesn't exist. You can only make the best decision that you know you can do with the information that you have. And um, we were, you know, we both do different kinds of coaching. So Michelle does vision work and uh, really that your big why and where you're going for and what you're really after. And then, if you will, it's, I, I help with how the business can support that vision. And then having a vision is really, really, really important in business. Um, but if you look at this, you know, people want guarantees all the time. And I could lie to you and give you a guarantee, but there's something that happens in here. I can't do the work for you. I, I can't guarantee that you'll do the work. Um, I can't guarantee that, you know, um, that you'll do it the way I tell you to do it. It's almost as if you're the teenager. <laughs> 
you know, when I'm the client, I'm the teenager, right? It's when we're the clients, we're the teenagers. We kind of have a mind of our own. Um, we're independent. That's what makes us entrepreneurs. Yay. But, you know, we factor into the mix about whether something will work 100%. And here's what I think is really crazy. If the program or the module or the coach or the whatever is built on really good foundations, all right? So good stuff. They're giving it all, right? They're uh, pretty much, you know, 80% of the way accurate in the information that you're sharing, and it's really not hard. Um, but if they're in that area, then if you only did 60%, maybe even 60 to 80, what I'll say is 50-ish is a break even, meaning that you'll probably at least make back the money that you're investing in whatever it is. So it's a break even. But what I've seen, like in my clients, because, you know, I was talking to a, a client that's coming into the mastermind in January, and she's like, but what if I can't do it all? I'm like, nobody does. Nobody, nobody is 100%. Okay, so we need to get over that part. But here's what I see with my clients is I have clients where none, none of them have done 100% of the things that I've recommended or on the things that we've talked about doing or in the way that we've talked about doing it. Okay, no one has done 100%. But if you get a 60 to 80%, like, if I can get you to do 60 to 80 percent, and we figure out what you're in love with and what you're not in love with, and how we can make it work for how you want to do it and give your appendix the, the freedom that it deserves in the business, you will get results. 60 to 80 percent is not perfection. I mean, that's a B, a C, or a D student in, in school. It's not an A student. Okay? So I think we did like, Cut some slack. <laughs> Give yourself just a little slack. Um, give the things that you're trying a little bit of slack. Know that you do have to put effort in. I mean, you're part of the recipe. You're part of uh, what created the situation that you're in, and you're going to be part of the solution. Okay, that's the good news. If you created it, you can change it. That's the really good news out there. But it doesn't have to be perfect. It really doesn't. And so I hope I can encourage you <laughs> this 2018 to be a little less perfect and to put things out there that are um, less than perfect, to be human, you know, and allow others to be human too. That's the really hard part uh, for perfections. Perfectionists is allowing others to be human too. So I'm so absolutely excited about this. Um, if you happen to want a free a copy of this, and I see Paula and I see Kelly out there, um, Paula gets one for free because, hey, she's known me for like 25 years, college roommate, maid of honor, you get one for free. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but if you're interested in buying a copy of this book, let me know. And as soon as we have uh, that page up, I'll send you out a uh, a link. Or if you happen to see me on a daily basis, you can like get Leslie bring one from you. I will buy it from you. So there, twenty dollars. And I know that's you know for a book that's a little on the pricier edge. It is two hundred and thirty two pages long. It is everything um, that I teach my clients. And it's a lot of my thinking behind business. So I have no doubt in my mind that for 20 bucks, you're going to make a ton of money back. Um, so that that's it for today, guys. I was trying something a little new. We're on Be Live TV. Um, just looking to improve coaching from the carpool and bringing it to you on a, a different kind of basis. So I'm going to try and see if I can make this happen mobily. Don't you love my crazy hair today? This is a, a CEO mom day that did not necessitate having to do with hair. Um, so you can kind of give me give me props on the crazy hair if you're liking that. But so trying something new. And, you know, that's that's um, once you get over the fear of perfection, you can try something new and just throw it up on the wall and see if it works. That's that spaghetti test. And I know. I'm the only one in the world that seems to know what the spaghetti test is, but 
that's how I learned how to cook spaghetti from my grandmother, who was from uh, Virginia, West Virginia, Moundsville, up in that area, was to throw the spaghetti up on the wall and see if it stuck. So that's all I'm doing. I'm throwing the spaghetti up on the wall and seeing if it sticks with a lot of the things that I do um, in my business and out there. So that's it, guys. I hope you have a great Friday. We will be back next week with um, more formal versions of coaching from the carpool. I have my workshop on Wednesday. Ovation uh, for show me the money. And if you've registered for that, you're getting a copy. That's what we were working on. I'm sorry. I'm so excited. I can just. Uh, you should see beans coming out from behind me and angels singing. That's about how excited I am today. But uh, if you did register for the workshop, I got the book. You're going to get your copy. So I'm excited about that. So that's it, guys. Hey, have a great Friday and have a profitable week. Join me back next week. I'm going to look at my calendar real quick because I believe what we're going to start doing is, um, yeah, we can do that. Coaching for the carpool two days a week. And we'll be on be live on Tuesday and Thursday, uh, 2.30, and kind of be able to share with you some more business growth. I feel like I should like have a use this as my face. <laughs> I just want to show it. I'm like, I think I'll walk around, go to the grocery store. Look, look what I got. Look what I got. Sorry, I'm being very silly. Um, but Tuesday, Thursday next week, about 2.30 or so, um, coaching from the carpool and have it make it a profitable one guys hope you're doing well and i can't wait to talk to you then this has been leslie hassler with your biz rules business coaching and approaching from the carpool bye guys <laughs>